to have a general anesthetic for this procedure. We'll go back to the room. Is she going to be okay with us going back or? She should be. All right, okay. So we'll take a lesson right here. Good job. The selective dorsoriotomy is a neurosurgical procedure. That means it's being performed by a neurosurgeon, in our case, Dr. Sam Browd. It is a way that we can decrease the child's spasticity or your child's spasticity permanently. The idea behind a dorsoriotomy is by reducing the sensory input, so the input into the legs, um, by cutting selectively some nerves, and those are sensory nerves, a small percent of them, it actually decreases muscle tone. So it decreases the hypertonicity or the spasticity. We go in through the small incision right below the level of the spinal cord. Bring together all the nerve roots that are there. And then using neuro neurostimulation monitoring, figure out what are motor roots. Those are preserved. The sensory roots are separated into smaller fascicles and then subsequently stimulated. The ones that are acting abnormally are subsequently sectioned. So typically we'll go through and do about 80 to 100 individual stimulations to test the sensory nerves and then decide which ones are acting abnormally and, and those are subsequently cut. Once we're in recovery, they'll give you a page that we're out of the operating room. Okay. Um, so you guys should have a pager. Okay. It's scheduled for um, several hours, so yeah, yeah mm -hmm. it'll be two to four hours usually. Are you ready to get this show on the road? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, we'll see you back in your bed. Say bye-bye. You want to wait? Bye. Bye. I was extremely nervous. I mean, who wouldn't be? Your child's having surgery. It doesn't happen every day, and she's only three. So I was nervous, but I also trusted what the doctor was doing. In the procedure itself, it's a team effort. I'm one of many members of the team. There's a variety of people in the room. So there's anesthesiologists who are managing the patient from that standpoint. There's a variety of nurses who are helping assist with the procedure, handing instruments, doing other things in the room. And we have a whole team that's part of the neurophysiology portion. They're setting up the patient at surgery, connecting them up so that we can test spinal cord function and nerve function all throughout the case. And so what we're doing is we're having a back and forth discussion during the surgery, myself and the electrophysiologist. Okay, here we go. Threshold. Threshold looks like it's gonna be right vastus. As we stimulate one nerve, we have a discussion. Is this a motor nerve or sensory nerve? If it's a motor nerve, we just tuck it away and that one's okay. left and preserved. If it's a sensory nerve, then we section it into smaller bundles and then each one gets tested. We have this back and forth discussion at every time point that we're doing the stimulation to, as a team, decide is this one abnormal enough that we should cut it or is it okay and we preserve yeah, that's, it. Yeah, that's abnormal with waxing and waning and some, and some spread. I think having a very open line of communication is important and if there's questions that come up even right before we go back, I want to make sure that everybody understands what we're doing, why we're doing it. If new questions came up, we want to certainly address those. They give us a beeper and then like halfway through the surgery, the nurse from the OR actually pages you and you call the nurse and you can actually talk to the nurse and she tells you how everything's going. It's just kind of a little, oh, okay, everything's fine. Even though, like I said, it wasn't that long, it's still a little, okay, we're doing good. <laughs> we're halfway there. Once the surgery concludes, I'll go out and speak with the family, show them some pictures of what we've done on their child just to see sort of what the anatomy looked like. And we'll go through what, what we found at the time of surgery. And then there's a whole team of people in place that take care of them during their rehabilitation stay and their media. We want to make sure that the parents are able to quickly be with their children after surgery and that the environment here is really conducive to sort of love and healing and all those things that you would want to have at a children's hospital.